Hey guys, this is Dave, American Kettler. Well, I finally got my third Bedini circuit going here. This one was a little more difficult, but um, it was uh, worth the effort. I uh, got my wheel working. This is a 125 millimeter razor wheel uh, that I mounted eight uh, Neo magnets in. And I think that made it a little more difficult for me to tune, but um, I did finally get it working. Um, my first experiment with it, I don't have it hooked up now, but I made a, a single coil with 22 gauge. And what you see in here is some cut filings. They're not really filings there. What I did was cut up a uh, coat hanger and use the the metal from that to make a core out of and it actually works really well and I was using that as my drive coil and I was using a separate coil for a trigger coil uh, mounted about 45 degrees offset on the wheel and between getting that set up and the tuning circuit I just could not get it to run I tried uh, I might play with that a little more later so what I ended up doing was making a new coil bifiler uh, double wound with a 26 gauge and the 22 gauge wound together and I've got I lost count around 450 so I know I got about 500 to 600 winds on there I put a little extra on there just in case and I used the same core element um, just cuttings from a coat hanger and it actually works really well I'm impressed with it um, but I, I got it going today just made the coil today and I've got it wired into the same circuit I was using before on my last experiment exact same circuit um, I'll go ahead and get it going here I've got my drive battery and we'll give it a spin and it well, didn't want to take off that time There we go. Oh, still doesn't want to go. It's a little touchy. I, I think I need to play with the tuning a little more. There it goes. It's taken off. I, I think it's because I've got such a heavy wheel and the eight small magnets in there, it, it's a little harder to get going. But once it gets going, it, it cranks it up. And the camera shows it going pretty slow, but it's actually going pretty quick there now. I think that's the effect of the frame rate of the camera. And the light's flickering there. The light is actually flickering a lot faster than what it's showing. And see, I've got... This is uh, the drive voltage, around 12.6869. That's a fully charged battery I had been playing with... Uh, it's come down a little bit. Let me move over to the charge battery. The charge battery I'd taken down to about 12 volts. I really drained it. And I've been running this a little bit. It's, it's back up to 12.42. And jumping up to 4.3. And it's charging away. This thing charges a lot faster than uh, the fan did. Got my little fan over there that I started playing with before. As you can see, I got my... Uh, wire in the magnet wire in finally so I was able to wind some coils up but it is running and like I said with those eight magnets in there it made tuning it kind of a pain uh, I've got a real small potentiometer and there's a 5k I played with a 1k and I just couldn't find a sweet spot with this 5k I found a couple sweet spots that it'll run fine with and it's just still humming away there. So next I think I'm gonna use this guy as a char charge capture coil. That core is huge and hopefully it doesn't slow down the rotor too much. But um, I'm gonna build a full wave bridge rectifier circuit to capture the voltage and maybe charge another battery if I can get that going. That's going to be my next step. 
But, um, I did was successful getting the circuit going. I was pretty excited to find that sweet spot finally and, and watch it take off. And like I said, this one's a little sensitive, so I think my next rotor, I'm going to try something a little different, but it is working. It's a neat little system. Like I said, same schoolgirl circuit, drive battery, and the charge battery. And let's see, charge battery almost 12.48, so it's still climbing. And earlier when I had this running, it was almost up to 13 volts. So, but I had drained the uh, charge battery down to about 12, so I stopped it. It is just taking off. Well, this sure has been a learning experience for me. And I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but this is sure a lot of fun. I am enjoying this. Something new and exciting every day. As you can see, I just have that mounted on a specimen jar. I still have to make up some kind of permanent fixture for my drive coil there. I'll work on that next. This is just tinkering around. I'm a tinkerer. But this is exciting stuff. And I just wanted to share that with you. So once again, thanks a lot for everybody's comments and help. I appreciate it. And again, Dave out.